So this is a uh, work in progress. It's my new uh, and I think final drilling rig. A guy on YouTube called Uncle Cecil gave me the nudge I needed to start up with the programming block and uh, yeah, this is what came out of that. So uh, yeah, the quick overview of the rig. Uh, out here front we have the drilling head. We have two feet for lugging the whole thing in place while drilling. And we have the drilling tower. This is made up of 39, yeah, 39 pistons, so a total depth of 390 meters, which is a triple, more than triple, of my old uh, drilling rig. I have worked hard on making the whole thing symmetrical in regards to piston and rotor placements, and that took um, quite a while to make that all work and it's raised, raised the pistons instead of using the rotors because I wanted to do that. Uh, it has 10 large car containers, 4 refineries, 3 reactors, a little bay with a transport ship and a drilling ship and in here we have the very work in progress um, control center and a hole for me to get out and work because I don't want to go through all that all the time. Anyhow, um, over here we have the program block with a good uh, 300 lines of uh, stuff that uh, makes it do stuff. So let's look at it. Uh, all my code is controlled via these four lights over here. Just gonna turn that off and let's go ahead and see. So it can't do anything unless it's deployed. We do that with button one. That'll deploy the feet. Oh, actually, I'm gonna demonstrate a thing with those. Sorry about that. Um, because of this uh, programming thing being new to me, I'm impressed by everything. So I think this is this is neat. Um, there we go. So two different heights for the feet. We got to deploy. There we go, and it goes in and it locks and it stops, doesn't lift the vehicle up. So they'll stop or once they hit something they can lock and then we'll raise the drilling tower because otherwise the, 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 the tip will scrape to the surface as it goes down. Now for deploying the tower we have two options. One is just pressing two which will uh, unlock and deploy the tower to a 90 degree angle. The second one, I'm just going to get it back down. It's a bit wobbly in the beginning due to uh, um, yeah, uh, lift arm principles and stuff. Anyhow, number two is we can press five. And over here on the screen, we have a target angle and a current angle. So by pressing our movement key, so if I press W, it'll count up. And the tower will go for that angle and as we press S it'll go down, so up and down. And uh, yeah, Let's see. Right, so let's just undeploy this, get out and uh, actually set it up for drilling. And yeah, I'm just gonna tick off the deployment because once deployment is ticked off, so the first lamp, it'll uh, reset. Oh, and uh, the number can also it can only count up when the parking brake is on. When the parking brake is on, we revert to uh, being able to move. The little ship uh, flying over there is the one I used to put all these pistons and stuff in place because I had to well build them separately, then move them into place and lock the rotors on to uh, the rotor parts. That was uh, well a pain. Oh uh, yeah. Uh, the whole the, the part that gets raised have a tendency to spark a bit, but uh, yeah. Did I ever turn up the detector? I did. So apparently there's just nothing here. Oh well. What I'm gonna do now is I am gonna set it up at. Uh, do we want to go straight down or do we want to go at an angle? Um so we deploy, it turns on the parking brake by itself when you deploy. So we go down, there we go. Yeah, so that's the the metal part there is what the sparks when you drive a bit too roughly. And 
and we're just going to deploy it at 90 degrees. So yeah, it takes a bit. I had to turn down the piston speed because otherwise it'll get wobbly. Alternatively, I think I could have used the rotors. I think they have enough power, but. I just really like the ideas of pistons doing the work. I mean, in my mind, it's not realistic that a rotor will uh, lift all that, but uh, yeah. All right. There we go. And now I press 3 to begin the drill. I really love the new sparking animations on the drill, it looks uh, excellent. Uh, yeah, and it's drilling at the speed of... Um, I don't remember. Let's just see here, so... Tower extension speed 0 0.005 times 39, I don't know what that is. Um, I don't know, 0 0.2 meters per second combined or something. Uh, oh, I forgot something. <laughs> but yeah, so this is uh, the space. Oh yeah, that's because uh, this part is usually down on, so I can place the plates. Um, yeah, uh, I think we're just gonna let it drill for a bit. For two vehicles in the back, I have uh, a set of the transport ship basically just thrusters and uh, reactors and then a mining ship uh, for when you strike into a vein uh, you don't want to uh, move and drill the whole hole again so you've got a little mining ship for going down into the hole and uh, picking out those veins again mostly thrusters, cargo space and stuff uh, and it's remote control, this one no cockpit so yeah I'm gonna go up and look down and I'll time lapse the drilling so, uh, see ya in a while. Alright, I think we are there. I actually stopped looking, so let's just see. Oh, we're not even close we are 64 percent but uh, yeah that's still a pretty dang deep hole um, uh, drill sounds are weird after the patch um, but yeah I mean still in uh, what 20 minutes or so not sure how long it took before start the ring um, Oh yeah, I need to make an indicator on the screen for uh, how far the pistons have extended. Anywho, it's just... Uh, I can't navigate without my crosshair. Um, yeah, let's turn the pistons... sorry, the, the drill off. That's another nice thing about the programmable block is that I can define different speeds for extension and retraction. It's assuming it doesn't bash itself apart of the way up. It doesn't seem very fast, but uh, when you add it up with 39 pistons, it's a bit... Well... Yeah. Uh, anyhow, I think that is uh, that is mostly it. Um, as I said, it's a work in progress. I'm going to be expanding on it. and uh, not sure how much I'll work in aesthetics, but I really want to get those screens up and running. Um, provide a better indicator of the angle and depth and... Uh, well, drill speed is constant, so that's a bit boring. Perhaps an overview of uh, stuff mined so far, etc. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah. If anyone uh, knows how to draw a line from two points on the LCD, if that is possible, please do tell. I've been struggling a bit. Um, yeah. I don't think I have. Uh, anything else on this here subject so yeah thank you for watching and uh, see ya